it's John from Yorkshire Monkey here, hope you're doing well. Right, this one's a little bit different. IOPC blasts corruption as Sussex police officers sacked for gross misconduct. And this is from uh, 22nd of July 2021, so about a fortnight ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Two Sussex police officers have been dismissed following an investigation into gross misconduct. The pair were dismissed without notice after one officer failed to investigate allegations on a sexual assault, while another officer attempted to interfere with the investigation. PC Russell Felgate and another officer labelled Police Constable X, who cannot be named under the direction of the disciplinary panel, were dismissed following an eight-month independent office for police corrupt conduct, IOPC, investigation. They were both found to have breached the standards of professional behaviour for honesty and integrity, authority, respect and courtesy and duties and responsibilities. That's the so many hands in one sentence again for you. Additionally, PCX was found to have breached the standards of equality, diversity and discreditable conduct. PC Felgate also breached confidentiality standards. A third officer received a written warning for misconduct after it was proven they breached the standards of professional behaviour in respect of duties and responsibility for failing to investigate the alleged domestic assault. The investigation began after a complaint referral from Sussex Police. The complaint related to an incident on 13th of August 2019 when a woman called Sussex Police reporting she had been assaulted by her employer at an address in Chichester, West Sussex. PC Felgate and another officer attended the incident and saw PCX was already at the address. PCX was off duty at the time but had been allegedly notified of the incident by the suspect who was her personal friend. PC Felgate and the other officer spoke with the alleged suspect and complainant but they made no arrests and did not take any further action. Nine days later the woman contacted Sussex Police again stating they'd been under the arrest from PCX not to provide a statement and not to pursue the allegation of assault. We all know what's going on there, don't we? IOPC Regional Director Graham Beasley said PCX was a personal friend of the alleged suspect and was also known to the alleged victim. As such, she was in a position of trust and abused that to exert improper influence over the complainant and attempted to interfere with the investigation being carried out by her colleagues. Without doubt, this kind of police corruption may erodes trust and confidence in the police, and anyone who behaves in such a way can have no place in policing. PCX was arrested and interviewed on suspicion of perverting the course of justice and corruption in rela relation to the reported assault. Evidence from her mobile phone records was used, while the suspects for the alleged domestic assault was also investigated by the IOPC on suspicion of per perverting the course of justice. IOPC investigators also interviewed the other two officers, analysed their body on video footage and obtained numerous witness statements. The Crown Prosecution Service has decided not to bring any criminal charges against PCX or alleged domestic assault suspect after the file after a file was referred by Sussex Police. So there you go, wheels within wheels and the old school tie. Okay monkeys, I hope you like that one. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you what you think. I love reading them, so don't be shy. And if you like, comment, subscribe, that'll be absolutely fantastic. Okay, monkeys, catch you later. Stay safe.